All right, I'm filming this, uh, hoping I can catch it all. It's, uh, there it is. It's the International Space Station. Oh, sorry about that. International Space Station. It's going behind the clouds now, so you're not going to be able to see it. But International Space Station is supposed to get to a minus 3.4 magnitude. I'm in uh, Austin, Texas. And I think today is the 28th of June, 2012. It's about 9. Oh, let's see. It's like 9.17. Hopefully I'll be able to see it through the clouds here. Because I saw it right when I started. I saw it coming above the horizon. And it's supposed to get uh, again three minus 3.4 magnitude which is really really bright and it's supposed to pass directly overhead it's supposed to pass directly overhead I think at 920 let me see nine must be 919 p.m. there it is I don't know if you can see it it's coming up through the clouds here uh, so I can zoom in a little bit here when I see it again. It's still going behind the clouds. It's a shame that it's cloudy. There it is. Can you see it? There it is. How about that? International Space Station. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There you go. It's going to get really bright here shortly. This is just after sunset. There you go. International Space Station. Isn't that cool? I'm going to spin around here because it's almost directly overhead. Where is it? It's back behind me again. Here it is somewhere. There it comes. Uh, there it is. Come on now. There it is. Keeps dancing behind the clouds. I don't guess I can zoom in on it. Oh, check that out. Through the clouds. Gotta love that. Okay, all right, we found it. It's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be. Sure ain't. That's it, right there. Wow. Now later on, the International Space Station is gonna fly over. It's gonna be like three times as bright. That was hard to find. And wasn't much fun. Yeah, I know. Sorry, honey. I don't know if y'all still see that or not, but there you go. It's just kind of cruising over. It's just like a like a moving star. That's about what it looks like because it's not it's not really dark right now. The sun just set a short time ago, but uh, you can distinguish it because it's moving. There it is. Sorry for the grainy video. see it. See, I think there it is right there. Is that it? That's yeah, gotta be it.
Hmm. Yeah, you can see us fixing the sink below that house. That is the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's getting a little bright now. And again, later on, we're going to show you the Hubble Space. No, I'm sorry, this is the Hubble. Later on, we're going to show you the uh, International Space Station. So we'll be back. All right, everybody, we got the International Space Station. Let's see if I can zoom in on it over here. There it is, right there. International Space Station. It's going to get to a magnitude. Uh, magnitude 3.5. I'm actually zoom in on it. It's not gonna let me. This thing, dog on it. Anyway, there you go. It's cruising across the sky. It's gonna get much brighter. Trust me. Uh, it's August 5th, Sunday night, 2012. There you go. It's going to pass about 80 degrees overhead from my location in Austin, Texas. So, and just after it gets a little bit above overhead, uh, it's going to uh, slowly get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Actually, it'll probably get dimmer pretty quick I guess <clears throat> you, know, you can kind of see it moving the trees at the bottom you'll see it's just getting brighter and brighter and I know this isn't the best video here it's kind of hard to focus on this thing at night because the sky is pretty dark right now if I zoom in on them all the way here, I don't think you can even see it. That's all the way zoomed in there. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. There you go. But you can see it passing stars and stuff. That's pretty cool. about three quarters of the way up now <clears throat> not too far from being overhead and I'm sorry this video just doesn't do it justice this thing is so cool International Space Station passing almost directly overhead now Austin Texas and I know you can't really how it's moving here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep from going in my pool here. There it is. Let's go to the side here because, yeah, I'm aiming straight up right now. There's a little star above it over here. Let's see if I can catch that. Maybe not. That's a pretty dim star. I got a pretty bright one coming up over here, though. Turning. That's just cool. Yeah, see, there's a star right there. You can see that one. See how it's moving against the star? Alright, now it should start dimming. Let's zoom in one more time. Yes, you'll see. The zoom doesn't do anything for it. So zoom back out. And it's fixing to go above my house, so I'm fixing to lose it. There 
There she goes. I was kind of hoping to catch it dimming out, but I guess maybe I can't. There we go. Now I stepped away from my house a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Kind of hard to see it. But it, it ain't, it's, it's dimming. There you go. Fixing to pass a star here. There it goes by the star. And it's fixing to go back over the roof of my house again. Yeah, there she goes. Okay. Well, Alright folks, we got the uh, International Space Station here. It's uh, Tuesday night, August 7th. And this thing's going to brighten up here very shortly. Where is it? Can't see it yet, but it is getting very bright here. We get to a minus 1.7 magnitude. There it is. Okay. There we go. Again, it's going to get to a minus 1.7 magnitude, and uh, it's still brightening up here. It's about uh, three fourths of the way up in the sky here uh, sorry I'm trying to maneuver here on some rocks Where is, there it is there we go slowly brightening Brighter and brighter the higher it gets. And again, that's the International Space Station. This is the sun reflecting off of it. It's just after sunset. It is uh, about 9.30 p.m. Central Time. All right, I got to move again. Hang on. There we go. There it goes, okay. I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, some stars up above where it is. It's passing through the Big Dipper right now. Maybe I can zoom and go down a little bit lower. Maybe you can see the little dipper, the actual, not the, the Big Dipper, I'm sorry. The actual bowl of the Big Dipper just above those trees that are right there. Let's see a zooming past the top of that tree right there. If y'all have not seen any satellites pass overhead, this is the coolest stuff, especially stuff like this that is really bright. And again, this is magnitude minus 1.7, I believe it is. Really cool. Got a fairly bright star coming up on uh, a little bit above. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock now, 1 o'clock, and it's about 12 o'clock now. There you go. Hopefully y'all can see that star. Just zooming right on past it. And I'm fixing to lose it here because it's fixing to go beyond my house here. In fact, the further away from the horizon it gets where the sun's horizon is over here on, on my left. Uh, it will get dimmer and dimmer and eventually twinkle out, I guess you could say. Maybe I can move just a little bit and catch a little bit more of it. Not much more of it though. Again, it's fixing to go beyond the roof of my house here. That's still pretty cool, right? Yeah, 8.1. There it goes. Almost okay, I think it's gone. Alright, well thanks for watching. Oh, and just for kicks, I'm going to show you my pool with my solar lighting. 
see if y'all can see that. Yeah, see, it doesn't look too bad out here once you get uh, some solar lights going and landscape lights and everything going. And I know y'all probably seen all this in the daylight with my uh, my barbecue videos. Yeah, we got plenty of lights around here. I, I don't even need to uh, to really turn on lights when I go get in the pool. It's pretty well lit, even at night. There you go. Oh, and those those lights down on the very end down here. Watch. Let's see if I can zoom in. They they uh they change. That's pretty cool stuff. How about that? I like it. We got those going all the way around the pool too. Alright, so there we go. Thanks again for watching.